Okay, so in regards to the petechiae or the petechial rash, that happens when the infection goes into the blood. We're talking about septicemia. And once that happens, if you can imagine you have all your blood vessels, right? And if you have that nasty bacteria in there, it starts chewing away, munching on the blood vessel wall, on the tunica intima. And this causes an increase in permeability. Meaning that the blood vessels are kind of like opening now. And so the blood leaks out from the vessels into the tissues. And so you get these little blood dots in the surface of your skin. That's your petechial rash. This is an ominous sign, it's not good. Because that means that the infection now has traveled from the meningeal area to the bloodstream. But nonetheless, that's where you'll see it. You can see it in the conjunctiva, you can see it on the chest, anywhere in the body. It just depends on where it's happening. But that's why you have the petechial rash. And that usually is an indication of excessive bleeding. It's not exclusive to this condition. You can have petechiae when people have like hemophilia, thrombocytopenia, or any, or even um, a condition that we know as endocarditis, infective endocarditis, because the inside of the wall of the heart becomes inflamed with bacteria infecting it. And as the blood passes through, the bacteria gets picked up by the blood and the same idea happens, it's the same concept. The bacteria makes the blood vessels a lot more permeable and the blood leaks outside into the tissues. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah.